I'll never be able to stretch enough how much I love Halo. In case you haven't guessed by now, by looking at my Master Chief Collection video, it's pretty good. I mean, the game had a lot of bugs. Uh, I couldn't get in the multiplayer for like a week. But, um, finally working, so I'm happy about that. But it kind of got me thinking. What are my favorite Halo maps? The highlight of Halo multiplayer has always been its awesome maps, and I kind of wanted to appreciate that. Now, to all you Halo noobs out there, make sure to grab your, um, Google image search, Halo, Halo name, and the map. I'm not spelling it for you, so. Eh. But you guys probably saw the name by now, so you probably know what you're in for. So, uh, get ready. Top 10 Halo maps. Yeah. And, uh, can't stretch it. Can't, can't stretch this enough, but, um, no ODST or Wars, because I don't consider them both Halo games because they both suck, except for maybe Wars. I've never played Wars. Never played ODST, but I know it doesn't have any multiplayer and took a more tactical thing on the whole Halo move, but they decided to not give it multiplayer because they're lazy pieces of crap, so goodbye. Let's go. Number 10 goes to Ascension from Halo 2, or Pinnacle from Halo Reach, or Zenith from the Master Chief Collection. It's got everything. It's got the Banshee, it's got the Leap of Faith, it's got the Tower of Power. I didn't know what Halo was back in the day, so I never played Tower of Power. Shut up, I was three years old when this game came out. <laughs> Number 9 goes to Valhalla from Halo 3. Because, why not? Because Valhalla is a really good map. Or Ragnarok from Halo 4. Maybe that's a bit easier to spell. I like Halo 4. Shut your friggin' face. Anyway, yeah. Nostalgia, nostalgia. Halo 3 was my first Halo game, so... Meh. Is that a spider? Okay, good, because I'm arachnophobic. <laughs> There's spiders on the trees of Valhalla. Number 8. Another Halo 3 map. The Pit. Or I'm pretty sure it was a DLC in Halo 4, but I don't remember the name of it. Close quarters, but at the same time, long distance. I don't... Just, well, I just noticed how weird this map is. It may just look like your basic training ground, but, um... It's really not. It's really awesome. Now I'm saying, my hair looks really bad. Kind of like the brutes on the walls of the map. <laughs> Take that, brutes, you're fat. Number seven. Yeah, kill me. It's a Halo Reach map. Spire. And get used to it, because there's going to be a lot of Halo Reach maps on here. Spire was one of the, I believe, two very large maps on it. And, well, the only mode that was worth playing on this was... Invasion. But it was that good. It was just that great. Y you won't play any other mode on this map except for Invasion. If you don't like Invasion, you're retarded. It's awesome. I don't know why you can't play it in other Halo games. I mean, I get any older Halo games, but come on, Halo 4. Screw war games. Uh, Halo 5, make Elites a thing and bring back Invasion. Number 6, a Halo 4 map. Choke me, spank me, pull my hair. Exile. Exile. Yeah. One of the three really big maps on here, except kind of the smallest of the three big ones. Except for maybe Meltdown. That map sucked. Or am I talking about Vortex? I don't know, which one was good? Number five, Halo Reach Powerhouse. I've never seen this on any other top ten Halo maps list before. That's weird. Why do I like this map? Because it feels like a lockout. As in the sense that in the middle there's a huge battleground, but at the kind of edges of the map, it was just kind of a little skirmish to get in there. Powerhouse was like... It's hard to explain. It's like a big round circle that goes in kind of like a pit. The pit. <laughs> we covered that in our number H spot. Hmm. Anyway, the map was awesome, and, uh, let's just move on. Hey, I just talked about how Powerhouse was like a lockout. 
Yeah, lockout's on number four. Now, usually you'd put this in number two or one, but I'm new to the new Halo 2 thing. Even though I did play it when I was like seven, found it lying around, popped it in my 360, apparently worked. About four years, was it? Four? Yeah, about three years after that, I played CE Evolved. Yeah, got the hang of it. Lockout's an awesome map, that's all I have to say. Number three is my favorite Halo Reach map. Boneyard. The biggest map on here. And just like Spire, no one played this game other than on Invasion. I really like Invasion. It's just the coolest thing ever. I mean, imagine like a big military base. There's... Like a void, like a foliage, just like dirt all over the place, and then there's like this one big base. But in the middle, there's like a canyon sort of type thing with a ship crashed over it. And that's where all the humans are held up inside, inside the wreckage, and the elites have to come in through the freaking scaffolding to get them. Does that not sound epic? Because I think it does, and it was. And every round after that just got better and better. Oh my god, nostalgia! I need to play Halo Reach. Number two, people call Exile the best map in Halo 4, but I can't disagree more. As awesome as Exile is, it has to go to Haven. Small maps have always gotten that big wrap around here, and I can see why. Except for number one, spoiler alert. <laughs> Haven, just two stories. Many different- this is, The simplicity of the map is insane, but it's so good. Yeah, I, I don't know where to go on from here. It's just... It's just really good. Uh, have you guessed number one yet? No? Okay. Number one goes the blood quad... Bloodline. Out of all three versions of the map, the excluding Halo Reach's hemorrhage, which was good, but it was just forged in the Halo thing. <laughs> Do I have to explain? Like, I have coagulation written down, but honestly, I'd rather say bloodline. Because where would Halo be if there was no blood gulch slash coagulation slash bloodline slash hemorrhage? And... What about Red vs. Blue? I know. Anytime someone talks about Blood Gulch, Red vs. Blue comes up because we got back our old canyon. 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 It's light red, not pink. I don't I don't even have to explain this, really. I mean, if you're a Halo fan, you know how good this map is. And, uh, Valhalla is a lot like this. That's Halo 3's version of Blood Gulch. Or Coagulation. Or... But, as awesome as that map is, it just can't compete with the number one bloodline coagulation, blood gulch, hemorrhage. I have hemorrhoids. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you agree. Um, I know a lot of Halo 4 and Halo Reach maps on here, but you know what? Those are probably my two favorites. Come out. I don't even care. <laughs> Halo 4 is good, Halo Reach is awesomer. Yeah. Nostalgia, stay what? Nostalgia.